be here! New York Knicks! What are we gonna do with the Knicks now, Mike? What are, I mean, what are we looking for? <laughs> <laughs> There's hope. There is hope. I mean, that's all. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have Please, mercy. Let's get it right. Lord have mercy. Give it to me. Give it to me. We here. We here. New York, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> gonna go yeah. Bing bong next. Yeah. No, I'll never do that. That was corny. <laughs> this is what it's all about, baby. Orange and blue skies. Orange and blue skies. Welcome back to NBA Countdown, presented by Chime. <laughs> the garden was rocking last night. The Knicks blew out the Cavs 99 to 79. Jalen Brunson leading the way with 21. RJ Barrett broke out with 19. And so the Knicks have a 2 1 series lead. And a quick turnaround will have their game early tomorrow afternoon, game four on ABC. Stephen A., the floor is yours. You know something, and I understand that I'm not going to see the looks of, of jubilation and euphoria from my boys from the Midwest. I understand. You know, y'all not that relevant right now. But this is my moment right here. Orange and blue sky, baby. I try to tell y'all, I told the world, game three. Friday night at Madison Square Garden, they just wasn't built for it. They wasn't ready, you understand? And that's exactly what happened. Donovan Mitchell is that dude, Jalen, you know I know that. But he averages 11 points less at the Garden compared to what he does in Cleveland. Did you see Emmanuel quickly? Did you see Josh Hart? Yeah. Did you see R.J. Barrett? 21 points in the first two games, 19 yesterday. Combined for 43 points, 16 to 23 shooting. By the way, 7 of 11 from three-point range. Did you see the defense, y'all? Did you see the defense? Did you see Cleveland get hit? Handcuffed. Did you see them have an inability to score? Did you see the Cleveland Cavaliers be the first team this entire season, entire season, that couldn't score 80 points in a game? This is what rolling into the garden does to you. That's what happened last night. The New York Knicks are up 2-1. We're going to be a bit greedy now. We get game 4-2. Oh, Knicks oh, going up 3-1. Oh, oh, oh. Knicks going up 3-1. Oh, oh. Orange and blue skies, baby. Orange and blue skies. Well, they, they taking it tomorrow, too. Yeah. So yeah. That, that was my question to right. Michael Wilbon, because yesterday uh, on our countdown program, Michael, you predicted that the Knicks would win, but that the Cavs would split these two games at the Garden. Having watched the way last night went, do you still feel that way? Yes. Yes, this is what happens. This is playoff basketball. The losing team makes adjustments. Jalen reminds us of this all the time. We're sitting there talking about what happens game to game. You've got practices in between. You've got film study. The, uh, it, it, coaches on the other team get paid, too. And so I expect the Cleveland Cavaliers to come back. I expect a bigger game from Donovan Mitchell. I expect the others to play better, not great because they are on the road, but I expect this series between 4-5 to be evened at 2 and go back to Cleveland that way. I'm with Will Bond. I love to see Stephen A. happy, though. This, this is a beautiful thing. But each of us going into this series, Greeny, said it would go 7, which means it's likely going to be a split in New York. And the Cavs can't play worse. Darius Garland, can't. he was shooting the ball so very badly. The entire team was. Yep. They were turning the ball all yep. over New York City. That's right. And I, I think they have to show a little bit better in game four, a defensive effort, a tenacity. Good job, R.J. Barrett, but, showing up, as you mentioned, Stephen A. But I believe the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to play a lot tougher, a lot more physical, and, and Donovan Mitchell is going to have a big game. The Cavs win game four. They fall. They fall. Because let me tell y'all something right now. Julius Randle didn't play good. He shot three of 15 from the field. He couldn't hit the backside of Broadway if he was standing on it yesterday. And they still won. Let me tell y'all something right now. There's different ways to skin a cat. I think Cleveland's going to be better. I think they're going to score over 80. I think they're going to play much better, and it's going to be a far more competitive matchup. But in the end, New York goes up. And I'm modifying my pick, Jalen Rose. Uh -oh. They going down in six. Yeah, and they going seven. They going, out of, they, go, they going down in six. <laughs> <laughs> they going down to six because they can't handle New York. Donovan, I believe in them. But they collectively cannot handle the garden. Quick, They're going home. Quick Jay turnaround. We'll have them again early tomorrow on ABC, right. followed by the Warriors and the Kings. So we have a big day. And let's take a look, Jalen, at how the Knicks <laughs> did this. They're up 2-1, thriving off turnovers. They have 80 Break it down, Jaylen. points Break it down. off turnovers <laughs> in this series. Believe me, y'all better not make me look bad. That's the most through the first three games of a series in the last 25 years. 
years. The Cavs committed a turnover on more than 5% of their passes Gee. in game three. That was the highest rate by any team in any game this season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.